In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your BitCaddy so that you can set it and forget it. So what you want to do before we log in here is uh, bring up your welcome email and that will give you the username. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log into uh, one of my members to show you uh, how to do this. So again, it's in your welcome email. Once you type in the username and the password that's contained in this email, it'll allow you to log in to the back office. All right, and uh, here's what it should look like. And what I want you to do right away is just click on, scroll down just a little bit, click on these here, 10X, 10X, 10x click about 10 of them and the reason why we do this is so that you know just in case the system forget or whatever you have to spend 20 bids a day to qualify for the profit sharing so by clicking 10 of them basically what you're doing is you're set up for the next five days okay so that should be able to take your account you should originally have 2000 bits here when you first log in uh, but this member has already as you can see here spent almost 500 of that so your first thing is just click on all 10 of these all right uh, so that you are you're set up for for five days now to set up bid caddy the secret here is to find an item that is the most expensive that also has the least current price that's being bid upon of course rolex are one of the higher items some of the watches are just really you know are in the thousands of dollar you know omega as you can see here is forty eight hundred dollars i mean find the watches that has high retail but yet has a small current bidding price so what i'm going to do here is i saw this rolex what i'm going to do is just click on the image it will bring up the uh, the actual uh, uh Okay, it's taking a bit so okay, it'll bring act up the actual auction. And what you want to do is on the right here, click on caddy. All right, starting bid. We're gonna start the bid. Let's look at the timer here. Let's make it for four seven nine. Okay, because it's gonna jump up really quick. The maximum bids you want to do is normally half of the retail price. So for forty eight, let's make it for twenty four hundred. Doesn't have to be exact. And then the number of bids that you want to start with uh, to look up here and see what the current number is. That's what you put down there. And what you do is just click on once you get the, all that done. Click on set bid. All right. When you do that, once you click on that, what's going to happen here is it will tell you that. Okay, well, it looks like I've already set the bid to that, but it, it, should, it should say something that, okay, your bid caddy is set up. So that's exactly how you set up your bid caddy so that you can set it and forget it. Now, I'm going to show you how to change your password. Click on my account up here, and um, it should be able to open up where you scroll here and see, see where it says change password. Click on change password, and if you, don't, if you don't like the password that the company issued you, just type in the old password and then type in your new password twice and click on change password. Now, here's a tip. Once you begin to start having many units like I do, currently I have about 20 units, uh, more coming in here this week, you want to keep all of your password the same so that, because remember, you have to log into each individual account one by one but once you set up and forget it all you have to do is just check once a week just to make sure that all the bids once it gets down to zero you are set for the next 99 payments if you have any question please get in touch with your sponsor first or then get in touch with me